Warm greeting to one and all. In this session, we will discuss about the basic of Excel. So in the last session, we have discussed the polling point. And in the today's session, we will discuss what is spreadsheet, what are the features of MS Excel. Then we will discuss the how to start with MS Excel. Then we will try to understand the layout of MS Excel. And finally, we will discuss or we will try to understand some of the basic operations on the worksheet. So let's start. What is spreadsheet? It is a sheet in which data is arranged in the form of what rows and columns of a grid and can be manipulated and used in a calculations. So following are the major electronic spreadsheet software that are in use. Google Sheet, Libre, uh, Office Cals, okay, Apple Number. So there are all many tools and we are going to follow what the MS Excel. So MS Excel offer many features that include it is an electronic spreadsheet supported by MS Excel as far bigger than its paper counterpart or compared to your page. It is very easy to generate a large spreadsheet using a MS Excel. It is an integrated package of what a spreadsheet, graphics and database management software. It means you are able to perform all these operations using an Excel. Support the many built-in functions like mathematical, statistical, financial function along with what a text, date, time and logical function. And it supports a mini formatting feature that include your basic uh, like bold, italic uh, along with the alignments. Then one can change the worksheet layout very easily and it is easy to change the column width, row height and you will be able to insert the rows and column or you can also insert what the cells. You will be able to work with a different numeric formatting like number, currency, date, time, percentage, scientific and fractions. You will be able to reference the cell either absolute or in relative or in mixed mode. It gives the facility to copying a data by means of what autofill. It offers a data analysis by means of what a pivot table. It offers the features of what a goal seek and solver analysis we will discuss which is one of the important part of what your data analytic. Then you will be able to format conditionally how to do it. Then what is data filtering and sorting we will also dis uh, discuss this part during our session and finally it support a various statistical tools or operation like correlation regression now how to start an MS Excel, MS Excel what you need to do you need to simply type what Excel or taskbar and then click on the OK then you will get a screen something like this and this is what your layout of Excel window now the upper part you will find in most of the office application now here these are the major parts if you observe this is what we are calling it as the row number and while this is representing what your column the active cell is one where your cursor is currently positioned okay and these are what a status bar and you may add as many as sheets in your workbook so we will discuss how to perform all those operations during our practical session then when you are talking about working with workbook what you need to do a workbook is simply what MS Excel file in which one can enter and code a related data. Each workbook may contain many worksheet or spreadsheet. Now what is worksheet? Worksheet is simply a collection of a cell and while working with workbook you may create a workbook, save the workbook, open or close the workbook. So in the practical session we will see how to work with this. So in the next part we will discuss about how to work with the worksheet. So let's start with the practical session. So in order to start with an Excel, what you need to do, you need to simply type here Excel on a taskbar. So you will get a screen something like this and here what you need to do, simply click on a blank workbook. So this is what the layout of your entire Excel sheet. This is then your active cell. This is what your active cell and how to refer it? E that is column followed by what a row number so it means this cell is represented what e4 while this one is re referred as what b4 okay like that way now you may enter a data for example say rajesh the city to which it is belong so you may enter as many as name that you would like to enter Okay, then here you have a different formatting features. 
like you may increase the size okay now observe in order to increase the column width what you need to do simply drag it nothing else similarly you can also increase what the row height too now the default name of the workbook is what it's a book one and the default name of this sheet is what it is a sheet one so how to change the names we will discuss later on so for a time being first of all we will see how to save the workbook so for that purpose simply click on the file followed by a save option and specify the folder where you would like to save suppose if you want to save in a desktop and specify the name by default extension is what it is xlx so suppose the name of the file is demo So this is how you will be able to save the file now if you want to close this file what you need to do simply close now in order to open the file again click on open followed by select the name of the file so here you will find what the recent workbook so simply click over here okay so these are the four basic operations that you can perform on, on what a workbook okay so i hope that you understood this part in this particular session with that thank you